What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode five of our blind Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Let's Play. I am back from my long weekend and ready to dive back into this. I had a nice day of work, and I am stoked to uh, to pick up where we left off. So, uh, where we did leave off was having completed Howoli City. We're now looking at uh, probably freed up this area over here no is this about is this about to be cleared off oh, okay it's about it's about me patting the the tauros and then and then we're good to go so uh i don't want to poke it on the nose i bet you I, I bet that's what i'm supposed to do though i don't think i don't think these animals like to be touched on their forelegs or grabbed by the horns so let's just poke it on the nose Nope, I, I angered it. <laughs> I've made a terrible mistake. All right, this is a really fun mini game here, guys. It's it's what does the Taurus like to have done to it? Let's see if it likes. It's there's no way it likes me grabbing it or poking it, right? So it's got to be touching its forelegs. <laughs> it really wants me to grab it by the horns. It wants me to grab life and this Taurus by the horns. Mrrr. Maybe old Tauros here can feel. F oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. I gotta. I gotta be back. Center myself. Let's be in character here. Maybe old Tauros here can feel your love for Pokemon. He sure seems to happy to know you. <laughs> and yet, it still seems to me like Tauros wants to stretch his legs on his own island challenge. Ha! I imagine that's how he laughs. What? You want to play tag now? The melee melee kahuna never loses, friend. Hmm. That is one active young, I mean old, <laughs> exceedingly old uh, island kahuna. Okay, so. Uh, route to a path through many grassy patches. Well. Alright, now we're talking about the, uh, the shaken grass. But battling those feisty creatures can be worth it. They sometimes drop items after battle. Okay, so I need to get to that. I can't remember though. I think it goes away if I miss it. So I'm going to pop a repel to get over there without having to get into a, into combat beforehand. Is this the one where... Do I have to like crawl up on it? No. Oh no, it just charges towards me. Okay, I'm confusing... I'm confusing this mechanic with the... Uh, it's an Ekans. I'm confusing this mechanic with the mechanic uh, from Ugh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, I guess. All right, so we've got an Intimin, uh, Intimidate Ekans, Intimin's Date, which might be really useful to have, especially this early in the game when single stat drops are so significant. Having an Ekans, like, I'm not a huge fan of Ekans. I used an Arbok, like, one time in a fight against Magnitude or something like that. We did, like, an NU thing. Um, but I think Intimidate could just be so useful. At this stage of the game, because sometimes you just gotta cycle in and out a couple of Pokemon just exclusively to get you the, um, the benefit of a couple of stat drops. I mean, you saw me do it in my battle against Elima uh, before, so... But I don't want to toss a, a Great Ball at this guy, so let's stick with it. Let's stick Classic. We're going Classic here. Regular Moke Ball. Oh, thank goodness. I, I look to the right, because that's always where I leave my drinks. But for some reason, I put it on my left this time. I know why I did that. It's because I had to... I can't enter from this side. I have to go over here to enter my viewing area. Uh, Magnemite wants to learn Magnet Bomb. I kind of forget what Magnet Bomb does. Is it something... It's guaranteed hit move or something? Yeah, guaranteed hit, 60 power. It's physical, though. Magnemite's got garbage attack stat, but it's better than tackle. 
both in power and accuracy. So sure, we'll take that. And Ekans getting his or her data added. You ever notice how sometimes even like the weakest Pokemon have the most like ferocious chat? Like I don't even know what it's gonna say, but I'm worried it's gonna be like Ekans. Its teeth are bladed with such poison that it could kill nine emperors or something like that. By dislocating its jaw, it can swallow prey larger than itself. After a meal, it curls up and rests. Six feet tall. I mean, long is probably the better way to do that. 15 pounds. That is a low body fat percentage. Uh, would I like to give Ekans a nickname? Yes. There's a snake in your boots. So you're going to be nicknamed Woody. Oh no, it's a female. I can't do that. Uh, Jesse was the name of... Uh, wow. Jesse was the name of Woody's sister. Sister? In Toy Story. And Jesse and James were the Team Rocket thugs who used... Coughing and Ekans, so that is hilarious, because I was just going for it because of, there's a snake in my boot. It's the first thing that came to my head, guys. I'm not really, I'm not, I'm not trying too hard, because I don't imagine I'm using Ekans forever, but uh, I'm going to add it to my party. Jesse, you're going to take over for, oh, goodness me. Sorry, Sublime. You got to hit the road, tiny little buddy. I needed the Intimidate. I needs did it. All right, you got a battle for me? Oh no, yes. Yes you do. Think you can handle the ordeal of defeating a beauty? Is it an ordeal? Is the act of beating you the ordeal? Or is the ordeal being sad? that I defeated you. Either way, uh, it's a cutie fly. I love cutie fly. It's good to see cu it's good to see you again, cutie fly. Last playthrough, cutie fly was nicknamed Baby Nick. So I'll probably have to do that again when I catch one of my own. Um, but for now, let's just skip ahead to when this battle is over. All right, the battle is over. And uh, I saw the care button pop up on the screen again. And I didn't use this one much before. But as I recall, you can cure status effects uh, if this is the same as it was in last game so uh, give your pokemon tender loving care pet them gently and make them very affectionate towards you i think i emphasized when i was reading that i don't think the game intended for me to emphasize the word very so much i was like make them very affectionate that's uh i may have may have overstepped my boundaries a little bit here uh give pokemon poke beans pokemon love to eat them you can get them in the cafe area in any Pokemon Center. Pokemon can get dirty when they battle. When that happens, clean them with grooming tools. It also heals status conditions. You can switch the Pokemon you care for. Pokemon that become very affectionate will battle with Zest. And this was a big one last time for some really uh, choice encounters. So uh, I'm definitely going to find some time to do this. However, it's tedious and repetitive. So I'm probably... Not going to do it on camera. I'll find some time to do it later. But for now, I just got to rub this medicine all over the Meowth, I think. Till the little electricalness goes away. Am I doing this right? Do I rub you on your little golden coin? Alright. I think I did it. I have some beans. I'm not going to waste any on you, though, Meowth. Well, Keat, you're a cute little Keat, but... Oh, I just realized it only does it on the bottom. The bottom screen. So you guys are... Let's go. You guys are seeing it there instead of this big screen up top. All right, Meowth. Nicely done. All right, we're done here, though. How do I get out? I'm trapped forever. You guys want to hear a funny, uh, a funny joke? What time 
Do you go to the dentist? Uh, whenever you schedule your appointment. Come on, don't be stupid. Why, why would I have to tell you what time you're going to the dentist? I don't know your schedule. You might work night shift. I don't know. You work night shift? You don't want to go at like a stupid time like early afternoon or anything like that. A good joke. I made a good joke. Drifloon! Yes. As I recall, Drifloon, there's like a... There's a quest at some point to catch a, a spooky Drifloon, I think. Drifloon is another one of those Pokemon that's amazing in the early game, because Aftermath, uh, when you're trying to throw multiple enemies... Sticker! When you're trying to throw multiple... Pokemon to take down one particularly tough enemy. Uh, sometimes shipping away at them with aftermath ability is pretty great. He set that boy of his straight. Is that another sticker? Man, these things are like really everywhere. Uh, no, no repel for now. What is this? Got a little back door going on here. What do you have here? CDs? Is that a GameCube? Slide and glide, ride the waves, watch the water splash as you soar through the air. Mantine surfing. This person's got a lot of third place trophies and one second place trophy. Or maybe that's like a platinum trophy. This book is out of place. A photo album that hasn't been touched lately. Tall boy clasping his island challenge amulet with the clear glow of pride. Hmm. There's golf clubs in the back there, too. Interesting. Got a little garden there. Cute. Very cute. What's going on over here? A heel ball. Is this little area over here the spooky area where you catch ghosts? Yeah, it's the cemetery. You know what I realized? Because the world is so similar to my last playthrough, it almost feels not blind for me, because I'm like, oh, I remember this, this is the exact same thing. But remembering things is the whole point of what I'm trying to avoid by it being a blind playthrough, but... I mean, you have to assume that if someone's playing Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, they've played Sun and Moon, I figure. Office worker Jeremy, who just came out here just to pay some respects, but he has a picky peck. I never got a picky peck this playthrough yet. No, I didn't do that many fights in Route 1, because I didn't, didn't feel like I needed to. Uh, let's skip ahead. Alrighty, we're back at it after mathematics, and we're gonna move this team around a little bit. Uh, we're gonna lead with pups for a while. Pokemon number two is gonna be Lil P. And Bugnitude, it doesn't really matter at that point. As long as Pups and Lil P are the numero uno and dos right now. Pardon my Spanish. I'm just saying that those are the ones I'm going to be rocking for now. The child walking over here. we got a TM to the right. Big mushroom. And it's a battle. Wee, oui, wee. Oui. It's a battle, it's a battle. One Pokemon, anything interesting? Papini! Well, that's kinda interesting. Not great for playthroughs, you know, so if that means, if me battling a Hapini now means there's one nearby, I might grab it, but I'm probably not gonna use it. Being super tanky is not helpful. Is, is kind of what I'm what I'm hinting at for playthroughs for playthrough purposes the only reason you have really tanky mons is so that you can use revives on the ones that kill everything I'm just talking I probably won't skip this battle because I've been talking too much thank you for the battle Maria hmm super pot that's one of the ways out. Um, how do we do? We go to the right and then up. Battle with a farm farm gal. 
what do we call it? Cowgirl? What are we calling this? What are you? Pokemon Breeder? Alright, I guess we can call you that. Pika! Pika! <laughs> I forgot that they started doing that. Uh, let's skip ahead, though. Alright, I defeated a Pikachu, but got paralyzed by static in the process, so I had to heal that up. But we're back on our way. TM Confide. I don't care about you. So let's see what we got in this grass. We haven't fought anything in the grassy area here yet. Maybe it's interesting stuff, like another Furfro. Murkrow! It rhymes with Furfro. I guess. Murkrow for a fall. I guess it de depends how you pronounce Furfro. You know who really liked Murkrow? Was, um... I don't know if you guys remember him. Uh, Mega Mogwai. Good friend of mine. Missed that guy. He used to he used to play Pokemon. Now he's uh, a Gwent guy. Something like that. I mean, he, he's a fan of strategy games. I think he just got sick of the way Pokemon... Some of the randomness of Pokemon. He got over it. He's into other things now, like Gwent. Actually, on Facebook, I watched one of Mogwai's Gwent videos just to support, I guess. And then, after I checked it out, uh, I think Facebook started thinking that I, I like I like Gwent now. I must, because I watched a, a Gwent video on, on YouTube. And uh, so it gave me an advertisement. Come on, Murkrow, get in the ball. So it gave me an advertisement for Gwent, and Mogwai's face is actually on it, which is... This is cool. I wonder if he got any money for that. I know he was like a big contributor to that and some other card game. Why am I talking about non-Pokemon things? I should be talking about capturing Murkrow. Or I shouldn't have made you sit through a multiple Pokeball throw catching <laughs> catching process. Pops wants to learn Headbutt? Amazing. Oh my god, as if this thing wasn't beast enough already. Tackle getting replaced with an 80 power move. Stab. Pups is king. Bugnitude dinging 11. Keep dinging 12. Magnemite dinging 12. Things are looking up, guys. Things are looking real good. And Murkrow. Something about ominous, fear inducing, terrifying Pokemon. Or maybe it can fly faster than anything on the planet. It has a weakness for shiny things. It's been known to sneak into the nests of Gabite, noted collectors of jewels in search of treasure. So it's like a magpie. Uh, I'm not I'm not gonna add, add this one to my team. I do like, but I already have a dark type Pokemon. Um, and so I don't wanna I don't wanna I'm not that dark, you know what I mean? I gotta work on this complexion a little bit. It's kinda pale at the moment. Too much darkness on my team. Zubat. I'm already sick of seeing Zubat because I think that will always be the case. No one will ever not be sick of seeing Zubat simply because of Pokemon Red and Blue. <laughs> See these things too often. And I O coded anyway, so <laughs> good for me. Alright, we'll give a couple more battles out here, see what we got. See if there's anything interesting, like a Drifloon. I would love a Drifloon. A Ghastly. Not bad, not bad. I've never seen this Pokemon. Zzz. Thanks, Rotom. Alright, we got Ghastly. Oh, man. I don't know if I, I might want Ghastly on the- I do like Ghastly. Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar are really cool things to have on the team. I might have to... Well, let's see what it's got for. So it's, it's said that gas emanating from a graveyard was possessed by the grievances of the deceased Pokemon- of the deceased and thus became a Pokemon. That is horrifying. Uh, would you like to give Gasly a nickname? Yes. You are...
Uh, one of my girlfriend's best friends is uh, is named Francesca. She goes by Chess, and I'm thinking like he's kind of like Cheshire Cat, right? So, um, unfortunately, this is a well. You know, it's okay. It's okay to pay homage. I'm gonna name him Chess because I'm thinking like Cheshire Cat. Uh, from Alice in Wonderland, a spooky smile, and it'll be it'll pay homage to Francesca, though not <laughs> though it's the wrong gender of Pokemon. But uh, let's see if we can add this to my party. What can we lose? We need Magnemite. I like Bugnitude. I don't want to get rid of Bugnitude yet. Probably we should just get rid of Keep. I kind of just put Keep on the team because it was... Oh, Keep has an antidote. Maybe Keep has pickup. I do like having pickup Pokemon, but I'm still going to get rid of it. Let's place it in the bag. Yeah. Keep's a good Pokemon. I like having fake out. But, I don't know, I just... I, no place for it. Alright. Another Ghastly. Alright, we'll do one more. We'll do one more and see if there's a Drifloon or something. Alright, just another Ghastly. So, for what's worth, I don't even know that there would actually be a Drifloon there. The only reason I was checking is because I recall that there was a, a quest in the past, a mission to... To do that. We got a crab brawler. We're right by the sea, that's right. Welcome to my wonderful seaside motel. My crab brawler sure is something, ain't he? He nabs passerbys to bring them to me so I can send them down to the bay. Though he's actually been a little too good at his job, so I have no vacant rooms left to offer you. That doesn't mean you've come for nothing. Here, follow me this way. This is definitely new, right? Is that a beach over there? Let's go. Don't worry about me. I won't rust. If you were electric, Rotom, I'm not worried about you rusting. I'm worried about you short-circuiting. See that? Look at that broad, expansive beach. Its name is Big Wave Beach. There's some interesting Pokemon to be found down on the beach, so I'd suggest having a look. And just so you know, the path to the beach was made by none other than yours truly. That's right. Just, by, just me and my crab brawler. We got a surfer, bruh. Alola trial goer, have you seen this surfer before? I feel like Kakui's a surfer. Whoa! Carlton! Smooth operator, look at this man. Oh, he's, he's too chill the way he tosses out his Pokemon. It's a deli bird? You're a surfer! What are you doing with a Deli Bird? Santa Claus? Come on. Deli Bird is such an awesome Pokemon. I wish he wasn't so utter garbage. It's like Hustle Ice Shard is like the only thing. I mean, I guess it learns Defog and Rapid Spin. So it's not like it doesn't have something going for it, but. Alright, we got a lot going on. This is a big little. Little area, what's going on over here? What do you got? BP shop? Beach points? Oh wait. I don't have any battle points. But if I had some I could buy a bunch of normie stuff. I don't want any normie stuff. So is this just an area for us to learn some moves? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so you guys might remember in episode 0, I was taught that like defog is everywhere now. So it looks like for very cheap, it's a um it's a tutor move, but this is huge that heal bell is also there. What else we got? A lot of other like fine things, but nothing huge. Yeah. I 
I'm trying to remember if low kick is something that uh, several Pokemon who in the past have used it for a significant purpose but weren't able to get in this generation. I can't fully remember though. But uh, I'm really, I mean, Heal Bell, if that's upped the number of Pokemon it can go to in addition to Defog, just because of its addition in, oh man. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look into that. I, all I all I know is what people told me about this, and then they they said that defog is is everywhere now. So I'm really curious if that also means heal bell will be, because that could really change the the support game. Hey little cousin, welcome to Big Wave Beach. You've come to exactly the right place if you're looking for some mantine surf. Oh my God, yes, yes, I am looking for mantine surf. It's just what it says on the box. You climb up on the back of our Mantine, and then you surf. Mantine, Mantine. I'm, I'm gonna interchange the way to pronounce it. Uh, surfing is the best sport, where you can enjoy traveling across the ocean waves. Though youngsters like yourself, who want to get into Mantine surf, have to toughen up and show that they can really handle it first. Surfing is a bit of a dangerous sport, to be fair. Come back when you're as tough as a real kahuna, okay? Me and Mantine will be holding our breath in anticipation till you do. No! Wait, do Mantine breathe? Can they even hold their breath? Cute. They have mouths, not just gills. Can't wait to, for a chance to try. No! What did you say? Talk to me again. Okay, or just love me. That's fine too. So I have to beat a kahuna? Until your legs are big and strong so you can stand up on them. I bet your legs are super strong from all the walking you do on the island challenge. Alola is famous for mantine surfing. You can enjoy some epic waves here. Number one is Boss. Big G. Samson. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, so this is going to be a real fun one. I cannot wait. How about you have a ride with Mantis? I want to, but this girl won't let me. <laughs> you can just flow with the wave, but it's important to challenge yourself too. My straw hat got blown away by the wind, and while I chase after it and wound up here. Fascinating. You can Mantine surf at special surf spots. Enjoy surfing with, you guessed it, Mantine. Okay. Is there any items or anything over here? Long Beach. Oh, here we go. If you fall off during Mantine Surf, don't worry. The Puka Muku will help you float. And I'll fish you up eventually. Oh, I'm kidding. The Mantine will always help you get back up on the wave. Okay. A cave! Please tell me no Zubats. Sandy Cave. So obviously I can't surf yet. Can I get into a battle? Yes, I can. I can battle on land. Please no Zubats. I want something cool. Psyduck! That's... Well, that's kind of cool. I want, <laughs> I want something a little cooler than that, but it's... Psyduck is... Psyduck is sweet. Alright, we're gonna try... We'll try a couple more battles in here, just to see if there's anything really cool. We can't just duck in here and then bounce immediately without seeing. No! You get away from me. Good. Pups is strong enough to Oko Zubat, so I don't need to worry if I encounter them. I can just knock them out. Get them out of here. Get on out of here. No! Mm -hmm. I want to see one more Pokemon. I, I cannot possibly believe that there's only Zubats and Psyducks in here. I'll do one more one more species. If I see one more non Psyduck, non Zubat species, I'll, I'll call it a day. Or if it's, you know, too many battles, I'll probably get bored and, and take off anyway. Also. Because I don't want to be. I only have a few hours to play, so I don't want to waste it all fighting Zubats all the time. Come on, man. Come on. Alright. Show me something different. We're in a cave, so, you know. Could be a deli bird. I wouldn't use a deli bird, but it'd be cool to catch one. Or another side deck. Kind of looks like a deli bird if it were fatter. The side deck lived on one from my headbutt and flinch, and I was like, I can't give up this perfect opportunity. Last time I just o-code the side deck outright, so 
no point in trying to catch it, but this time, left at 1 HP and you flinched. Had to do it to him. What do we got? Tell me something about yourself. Using psychokinesis gives it a headache, so it normally passes the time spacing out and doing as little as possible. Just like me, getting a headache from psychokinesis and then chilling out doing nothing. Uh, I'm not going to be using the Psyduck, and honestly, I'll do one more battle. If it's a Psyduck or a Zubat, again, I'm, I'm done in here. You heard it here first, folks. I'm out of this cave. Alright. Cave be done. We're done in here. Is there anything else tucked away in this corner? No. What right over here? You know what? Because it was a nook. Because there was a nook here. So I thought it wasn't even in the nook. It was like right behind it. Is this just... There's always pearls on the corners. I don't know. I'm just spamming the A button now. What's going on behind this girl, though? I can't go up there. Because my legs aren't big and strong enough or something like that. Uh-oh. Team Skull's here. Alright. You better get ready for some mischief masters of Team Skull. Skull. <laughs> Come on, me. It's been a long day. To do some Mantine surfing, too. They're on the place I just wanted to go, just now. Hey, yo, prepare for trouble, make it times two, yo. Oh, Team Skull, you know you guys can't ride here. What's up with that? We look like kids to you or something? No, the real reason is... Yeah, the real reason is... Every time you try, you keep those ridiculous dance moves, even on Mantine's back, and then you end up in the water. You want us to stop dancing? That's our identity, yo. It's all we got. Yeah, you, uh, actually, honestly, if that's your reason that they can't participate, I, I don't know that I support that. You gotta let people do. You gotta let them. Man, forget her, B. We're Team Skull. No one can stop us from acting hard-headed. Okay, but that's... But now that's... That's thievery. You're trespassing because she said, Please help these numbskulls keep away from man team. Yeah. Yeah, see, you guys had the upper hand. You had a case, for sure. But then you had to come over here and commit a crime. It was burglary at this point. Trespassing and committing a crime. What are you looking at, short stuff? Huh? Huh? Wait, huh? You're that kid. You want to scrap Tiny Train? A battle, yo. You might have beaten us in Howoli City, but we'll put our heads together and beat you this time. Yes, come on. Doubles battle. Let's go. Doubles. 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 <sighs> Boo. Boo. More doubles battles. Drowsy. Was that in a safari ball? Drowsy's a cool mon. But he's about to get head butted. Drowsy's got... Pretty poor defense, so yeah. Didn't, doesn't surprise me that he'll go down in one hit to that. Dude, Pups is cleaning up. This guy's a beast. Yes, we want to learn light screen. That's amazing. That's way better than supersonic. Yo, I'm feeling mad annoyed that my team just got destroyed. Okay, so is your thing dancing, or is it, is it rapping? Do you just, is that like, you casually rhyme by accident? Seriously, home slice, you're too strong for a kid, yo. Ah, I gotta go make someone else miserable to feel better. Let's go with Elima again, B. Mess with Elima again. I'm down with that. Vernon Cavan's pretty close by anyway. Hey, you. You better listen to what my homie says and drill into that thick skull of yours. Seriously, you better not forget it, numb skull. Okay, they say numb skull. See, now I'm thinking I gotta go with like a like a forties like a forties mobster voice. Like, man, see, you're, you gotta get it through that thick skull of yours, huh, numb skull? 
Nice one, kid. Mantine won't be subjected to their terrible surfing skills thanks to you. <laughs> You're a decent trainer, just like I'd expect from a trial goer on the island challenge. Why don't you take this from me? Fresh water? Sure. <laughs> I bet you could take on Captain Elima's trial with how well you handled that battle. Even Kahunahala would probably say you're ready to take on all of Alola. If he says that you're ready, come back here and we'll get you up on Manti in no time. Okay, so the goal is... Oop. Okay, this time we're really going to make it to that trial site. No, really, I mean it. Can I go up here? Is there anything in this corner? No. More stuff! Items! Trainers. The Mantine are all really chill. They don't care if someone's riding them. Or even if Pokemon called a Remoraid Kling on them. That's true. <gasps> Puku Muku! Puku Muku doesn't seem to want to come near. He's staring at me. What would you like to do? Turn to the right. Burn, burn, turn to the left. Burn, burn. Crisscross. So is this just... <laughs> it's like the rock rough thing. So I just... I don't get it. <laughs> Goodbye, Puka Miku. Everyone seems to pull off killer moves the moment they climb atop a man team. Why do they even keep me as an instructor? I don't know. White herb. Excellent. It's definitely a competitive battle viable item. Uh, there's a soda pop right under the tree here. See? Challengers, this is why you always spam the A button when you're running everywhere. Because you never know when you're going to come across an item and get it for free just because you're like spamming the A button everywhere you go. I actually forget to do it a lot of the times because it makes my fingers tired. And there's a lot of areas where it's like, there's clearly like, right now in the middle of this area, there's not going to be anything here, but like behind this car, maybe? Okay, there's an actual item behind the car, not a hidden item. This is why you always look around, guys. You gotta check every nook and cranny. Hmm. No one's saying anything useful here. There's a garbage can there. I should check the garbage. We got one more door. We got a dude in here with some Magnemite. And he's gonna give me two nest balls. Uh, and you. So this is just a dude waiting for his girlfriend to finish putting on makeup. So he's... That's why he was sighing so much. And why he gave me some nest balls. But we're done here. We made some moves. Did I talk to you already? Okay, no. It's a little hidden corner there, but there's nothing in it. So I think we're done with the lower end here. Let's keep going, we got a trainer battle. What are we looking at time-wise? 47 minutes with several battles that I can skip through. So let's try and finish off this area and then we'll call that uh, one of those, we'll call it an app. we'll call it a wrap. And we'll skip this battle against Murkrow because we already know what's gonna happen. Pup's gonna murder him with his head. Alright, Gentleman Stanley just used a full restore on his Murkrow when I almost O-code him, but just barely failed. And then I got 2,000 for defeating him. 2,000 Poke Yen, so... Gentleman Stanley is loaded. So, you know. Or maybe not loaded. He had enough for one full restore. And 2,000 to give me. Uh, this is the Berry Fields. 
Oh, you and Poplio are doing the island challenge. Great, allow me to give you a berry then. Hey, don't be stingy. Are you interested in becoming a berry master? Yes. All right, first of all, get a persim berry. Easy. <laughs> easiest, easiest quest of my life. I don't know if you picked it from a berry tree or your Pokemon hand, but that's great to start becoming. And you'll offer me your reward. Is it more berries? Citrus. Great. Next quest. Get me a citrus berry. Come on. Yep, nothing else here. Got a little deli bird that goes berg. It's a berry tree. Anything hidden? What we got? Sticker. Knew it. Nailed it. They call me Stick Measy. Silver powder. Is that power up bug moves? I can't remember. Bugging 2 doesn't have a bug move yet, though. Cute, cute. Look at all these deli birds. Burr, burr. Pull the revive out of somewhere. Amazing. DD. What about you? You got TT? I won't even tell you guys what that means in Tagalog. What, all right, hold up, hold up. Is this is a Pokemon poems. What type is love? Even Orochorio grow weary of dance, and the bright sky above, and endless summer. I wish I could know what type you are, for surely love's type must be fire. My heart ignites like a flame burst, I pull my fingers back, left with a burn. Or so I had thought, but it was all in my mind, flame burst simply isn't that sort of move. <laughs> Cause flame burst can't burn. That's not the secondary effect. This thing said flap, and we got a, a little sticker over here. Just call me Stick, Stick Neasy. Stick Measy the first time, not Stick Measy. And I can exit down into the berry fields. Can I plant berries here? No, this is for show. How about you? You got a berry for me? Yes, I want to know why there aren't berries growing here. Well, you see, we came here to the Alola region thinking to help spread the word about using fertilizer. The town where we came from, a place called Camphrier Town, is in Kalos. Yes, it is. Grows plenty of berries in the nearby fields, and we use fertilizer to help grow our berries. But the Alola region, people don't have to do a thing to help berries grow. You can just sit back and let nature and Pokemon do all the work, and you'll have more berries than you'll know what to do with. That's why we stop bothering trying to farm in the fields here. In fact, now we're the ones who are enamored with Alolan berry culture. My new dream is to become a true berry master here in Alola. So you literally put a berry field here just to tell me that I'm not allowed to grow berries because I don't need it? It's not It's not about them growing easily. That's not the reason for fields. It's so you can grow massive amounts of them in one convenient location. Yes, I see. So... This way lies Verdant Cavern. It is one of the places in the land filled with the blinding one's power. Most certainly worth our investigating. Yep, the aura levels are really high. Calm yourself, Zossi. It will be difficult for us to investigate it, though. Since we do not use Pokemon of our own, we will have to think of some other way. Perhaps we could use our technology to find a way to control Pokemon. Maybe I could go in as a trial goer, take on the trial and everything. Though I don't have one of those island challenge amulet thingies. I don't think these are robots, but I sure love making- Oh, those folks don't look like anyone else I've ever seen around Alola, is what is what Lil uh, Rotom said. Trying to make another per Pokemon makes you no different than a thief. They're just teaching me that I can't throw Pokeballs at them. Right. Do I hear rustling? 
Yes, I do. What do we got? Another Ekans. Dunsparce! Hell yeah! Yes! Get him, Pop Leo. Alright, so we got a Dunsparce. Uh, I'm not gonna use it though, because while it's very cool to see them, that's probably the only reason I feel that way is because they, when first got released, they were actually pretty difficult to find. Uh, but it's not that they're particularly good Pokemon. So uh, let's drop Work Up for Icy Wind coverage. My attack stat is still close enough to my special attack stat that Aqua Jet could still be useful. Fairy typing. Still good. Yeah, it's got. I gotta drop. I gotta drop work up. Work up could be useful, as I mentioned in the episode where I gave it to someone. At this point in the game, it can be very useful to um, boost yourself one stage, because oftentimes the difference between an Oko and a two hit KO can just be that little bit. But uh, no, we're not gonna use curse. Alright, looks good. Let's see what Dunsparce has got to say. It's gonna sting me. It's gonna say something about its stinger tail. It travels by digging through the ground. Diglett and Dunsparce share one another's tunnels happily. That's very nice of them. Uh, no, we're not gonna give you a nickname, and you're gonna go, go back to the box. Get in your home. Alright, so Dunsparce is there. Looking at the map on the bottom, I see a flag up ahead. The end of this area here, we got a trainer, an item, and then the, uh, the Pokemon Center. And we'll probably call it once we reach the Pokemon Center. I don't hear my phone buzz. You guys know that song? Uh, let's skip ahead here, because all he's got is a flabebe. Alright, lass. Thank you for your poke, Yen. But I must be on my merry old way now. Rounding the curb here. What do we got? How? How's it, Geo? Your Pokemon doing alright? Yeah, fine. Well, I know Litten and the rest of my team have seen better days, that's for sure. Come on, Geo, let's stop by the PMC. Pokemon Mart Center. You know that Verdant Cavern place, right? I guess it's kind of, like, sacred to Tapu Koko. You aren't even allowed to go in unless you... Unless you're on your island challenge. Oh yeah, almost forgot. I have something pretty amazing to share with you, Geo, you lucky thing. Three revives, man. I got a lot of these things now. Revives are solid items to have. If your Pokemon faints in battle and can't go on, then revive will perk them right back up. But you probably won't find revives here. Did you know that Pokemarts sometimes sell different things? And not just that, the two clerks at the counter even sell different things from one another. Oh yeah, but you got that Rotom Dex, right? If you tap it and play with it a lot, then you can use Roto Lotto too, right? I... <laughs> How was I supposed to... That's right. Give me a tap when my eyes flash. Awesome. Do it, Geo. Do it. Try Roto Lotto for me. Hey, kid. Try the Roto Lotto. Just test my eyes when they flash and see what you get. Ooh, congrats. We can use the Rotor Lotto now. It's a new feature that pops out special powers. Just like that. Come on, give it a try. Does it just go? Do I have to tap it? Up. Hey, look at that. That's an amazing power. You obtain two Roto Boosts. You open up the Rotom Powers Pocket and put the Roto Boosts inside. The Roto Boosts is a power that boosts the stats of your Pokemon. 
permanently? Can even make your team stronger. I wonder what other kind of rotor powers there are there too. Alright, this is pretty sweet. That's some special rotom power. I hope it helps us out with the trial. Let's have a look in this bag, guys. Let's see what we got, what we just learned. Where's my Rotom? There we go. It raises all stats of your battling Pokemon. Okay. Oh my god. Are you serious? That's huge. That's like every X item that you can possibly have all rolled into one. That's... Okay, that's kind of busted. <laughs> that's kind of busted, actually. That's kind of ludicrously strong. Alright, but uh, we made it to this Pokemon Center, so in the next episode, I thought there might have been a little area on the northern part of the road. We'll check that out, and then we'll head on up to wherever is next. I don't... I feel like we probably can't enter Verdant Cavern yet, but if it lets us, then I, I guess we'll try that. So, stay tuned to the next episode. As always, my name is Jim Liturgio. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.